What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your, let's see, 7th intermediate drop tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be building all of these methods that we didn't build last time. So let's go ahead and out, again, this is your main method right here. So you want to make sure you're outside and not inside your main method. And when you're outside, to add a little comment, print me method. I just like to add a little comment at the beginning of each of my methods. So then when I'm building a huge class with a bunch of methods, I can, you know, find them easier. So private static void print me. And of course it's a takes the parameter of a list, which is string data and just name I name all my lists L because I'm lazy. And now let's scroll down and let's actually get to building the method. So let's go ahead and make an enhanced for loop. And of course it's gonna loop through the string um B and let's let me go ahead and type this and I'll explain it. L. So what this is doing is an enhanced for loop that's going to loop through the array of a list, actually. It's going to loop through a list, and it's going to treat each element in that list as B temporarily. There we go. So now what do we want to do to B? Just go ahead and print out. So system out print F. And for argument 1, let's just go ahead and print that element, which is percent %S. And for the argument, just go ahead and write B. So what this is going to do is it's going to pass it in each item of the list and just print that string and a space after it. Nothing new. And then once you're done doing that whole thing, just do system out print line just so we can uh, keep everything titled up. And it doesn't look like if you don't have this, every time you use this method, it's going to look like it's on one big line. This, every time you use it, it's going to go to the next line. Easy enough. And don't forget your... Uh, uh, semicolon right there. So now we have a basic print method just pretty much to go through the list and print it out. So now we can go ahead and build our other method, remove stuff. So let's go ahead, remove stuff method, right like that. So this is also private static void remove stuff, but this one takes a list, or st not sting, that's embarrassing string data and we'll just name this list L temporarily because again I'm lazy and put int from int to because this is you're gonna pass it in a range of numbers you pass it in the number from what you want to delete to what you want to delete and I think we pass it in 2 to 5 so it's gonna remove the elements from 2 to 5 see see how why I named it from and to easy enough so let's go ahead and we'll get coding so this is an easy one. It's only one line. What we want to do is take that list that we passed it in, and we want to get a sublist off it. And sublist is a built-in method from Java. It's actually from the util. So from into. And what this is going to do is it's going to return a portion of the list. It's going to return the portion 2 to 5 in this case. Now what do we want to do that portion? We want to clear it right here. And this is also a built-in method. So sublist and clear are built-in methods that you can use with linked list. And again, what it's going to do, you're going to give it a list. You're going to take a portion of that list, and you're going to delete it. So easy enough, that's how you remove stuff. So we got one more error right here. It's reverse me and it says, all right, create method, reverse me. All right, you talk me into it. Easily influenced, I will. So let's put reverse me and put private static void reverse me good enough and now again we passed in a list up here so we got pass it in a list down here list string just gonna name L because I'm lazy again can't stress that enough and what we're gonna be using to reverse is a list iterator kind of like the last one so list iterator and of course you gotta cast what type of data you're gonna be passing in like always and you can name your list iter iterator anything you want I'm gonna name my Bobby because he seems like he would be a good list iterator for me so now you gotta write what you wanna iterate through you wanna iterate through that list you just passed in which is L and list iterator and what you need to pass in here is a starting point of where of pretty much what you want to iterate through now we want to start at the very end and then print that out first because this list is in reverse order if we started at the beginning and printed out everything then that would just be a normal order 
So how do we get to the endpoint of a list? Well, we can go ahead and figure out how many elements are in here, and then go ahead and figure out the endpoint. So let's say it's eight or something. Or what we can do is put L dot size. And what this does is automatically gets a size for you. And what that is, is automatically the ending point of your list. So how cool is that? So the starting point, if you put list size, is automatically the last element. See, that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and let me end that. And now that we have something that can iterate or go through our list, that's what iterate means, we can begin uh, putting a while method. So while Bobby, our friend Bobby, our list iterator, has previous, and this is of course a built-in method, so while it has something before it, so this is going to be true until it gets to the last element and then it's going to be false. So that's where this goes. System out print f and for the format just go ahead and put uh, quotation quotation string just like and remember we have to print it out this time because you see reverse me there's no print me after it we could have built it that way but this is so much more exciting bobby dot previous just like that so what this is going to do one last time it's going to loop through the entire list while it has something to loop through and print out the elements one by one. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll see if it works. So right here we got, here is our original list when we combine the two. Apple, noobs, ponage, bacon, goats, and that's our first one and as you can see it added the second one to it. Sausage, bacon, goats, Harry Potter. So now we have this one huge list. After this we ran the method, let's see what we ran. Remove stuff two to five. So it took the elements from two to four and removed it. So you see apple noobs and then ponage, um, bacon, goats, and sausage is the lead in. And let's see, no, ponage, bacon, goats, and then you have sausage, bacon, goats, and Harry Potter left. So now here's our new and enhanced list with elements removed in it. So lastly, what we did is we took this list, which was our new list one, and reversed it and right here with the reverse me method. So what this did is take this list and put Harry Potter, goats, bacon, sausage, noobs, apples. So that through the reverse me method we were able to reverse the elements. And that is pretty much the power of linked list and what you can do with it. Again, some different methods than the basic list or collection interface. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next tutorial.